Hello YouTube and welcome to the next text loss video with a brand new Apple iPhone 7. So this time we do the setup. Our nano SIM card is already ready. We insert this into the phone, do the setup thingy and then look around. Uh, what about the brand new display brightness? What about uh, the Taptic Engine and the home button? What about the camera? And, and, and so grab your SIM card opening tool which is in the box with all the other papers. Then locate the SIM card tray on the left side of the device, no, on the right side of the device. So there where the home button is. You take out the tray, take your nano SIM card, put it in with the right corner, left the corners in the left side, so chip down and slide it back in. Then push your on off button, push it, push it, push it, still push it, and there we go. You can release the button, we see our Apple logo, and here we go. I looked a little bit around with all the white stuff, the white cables, the white adapters, and yes, Apple is doing this all the time, but wouldn't it be great if we got the black cables and adapter here? So, first option, select your language, English this time. Select your country, I'm at the moment in Germany. So, English, Germany, selecting language. And the next step is choose a Wi-Fi network. Yes, we got our nano SIM card in. I got already, uh, I got already my LTE connection or 4G connection here. I can skip this and use my mobile connection, but I'm at home, I got Wi-Fi, so I use the Wi-Fi free data. The next step is location services, enabled services, of course, then there we go, touch ID, let's set up the new fingerprint and tap ID, attach ID, place your finger and now it's vibrating, yes, just pull, place your finger, don't push the home button, oh, can you push it? Oh, so you still can, you get the feeling, but it's, you're not really pushing it, Whoa, adjust your grip, continue, okay. So I'm moving my finger a little bit around. Don't push, don't push. Yes, just place your finger on the home button. Don't push it. Complete. Now we need a password in case our finger is not working, damaged, wet, or someone else should unlock the device. I got some other options how to put in a passcode. I just use a four digit code because this is faster. And I mean, one, two, three, four is not set the secure code, but it's a fast code. So we have entered our code and the next step is Backup and recovery. The big iPhone, I will do the setup with the, with a backup, with, with restoring a backup. But on this here, on the basic model with just 32 gigabytes, I want to figure out how much free storage we got on the new basic model. So I choose setup as new iPhone. I have to log in with my Apple ID. Uh, you, you can also create a new one, uh, but I will just log in. I have to agree to the terms and conditions. Yes, please. And now it's asking me about the iCloud key change. Do you want to use it? No, I don't want to. Don't restore passwords. No, I don't want to do this. And I just skip this one. Do I want to send the diagnostics to Apple? No, I don't want to do this. And now meets the new home button. Get started. Oh, we got a couple of options how to, so this one operates. One, two, three. So just push one. Oh, and now let's check out two, uh, one. Lighter, two, ooh, definitely stronger, and three, whoa. So now by, by this, this is a Taptic Engine built inside, and it's rumbling, it's giving you a little feedback, it's just vibrating, and this feels like you are actually pushing the home button, or it's just more like the home button when it's released, the movement up here. I got here an iPad with an old home button, and I would say, what? Yes, it's more like pushing the three, but the three feels too strong in comparison with the two. No, I stay with the two. Next, the digital zoom. Uh, choose a view. Standard or zoomed. Standard or zoomed. You got a, a couple of things how you can check it out, but I go with standard. So next, welcome to iPhone. So there we go. One thing, uh, the thing, just, uh, where was Siri integration with the voice commands? You can still do this, but first of all, let's figure out how much free storage we got. So settings, general, and storage and iCloud storage. There we go. We got available 26.92 gigabytes of free storage. So around close to 23 gigabytes. And on the box it says 32. So if you calculate this from gigs to gigs, it's 29.4 uh, 
four serums, something like that. Then we got um, something used on the device. So we got 27 gigabytes of free storage here. And this is huge, this is so huge. Um, of course, if you have apps installed like the Office apps, like Words or iMovie, GarageBand or anything, then you don't have that much storage on the device. But uh, here, 27 gigabytes close to is really, really much, much free storage. Um, then, first of all, let's check out the home button or the fingerprint sensor, which works nice. And yes, it could it could work faster. I would say the newest generation of Huawei home buttons works definitely faster than the Apple one. Let's see how this one works with a wet finger. No. Nope. With a wet finger, I just clicked over it. Same problems as always. It's not working. Yes, slightly wet is okay. Then let's see what else do we get. Of course, the cameras. Let's check out the brand new camera design. Yes, access to my location. Let's deactivate live photos here. Take a couple normal ones. Then let's activate HDR. It's fast. Yes, takes maybe a little bit longer, but Still, picture quality, first impression. Nice, 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 nice. This is definitely a nice picture here, just from, from the stuff on the table. Then what about the front facing camera? Okay, yes, looks looks okay, looks okay. Oh, what about the video resolution? Because the new seven megapixel camera on the front side is now recording in full HD, which is a new one. Other um, iMessage cameras, or as Apple is calling them, not iMessage, iView, iLive, H, who are I? Not, no clue right now. Uh, we're just recording in 720p. So, what about video resolution? Oh, I, uh, yes, I remember you can't change the video resolution in the camera apps. This would be too easy. You have to head over to settings and then scroll all the way down. And there we got the options, photos and camera. And there you can change. You can activate a camera grid. You can change the recorded video size from up to 720p up to 4K in 30 frames, no 60 frames. And record slow-mo in full HD or 720p. But there is no thing how you can change the recording quality of the front-facing camera. So front-facing videos will always be in 1080p, which is nice, I assume. So first impression, the device gets warm. I, I mean, I did not now film anything, of, uh, but definitely feels, feels warm. So we got the new lock screen. Okay, this is new. This is all the things new with with iOS with iOS 10. This is nothing has nothing to do with the new iPhone. Of course, the new iPhone is a new reason for the new iOS. But uh, overall, it's just okay. I really have to say I have to do make some adjustments here to the settings. Um, and and I don't really like those zooming thingies. You can change them. You can change a lot of the settings. Maybe I do an extra video for over it. But I have to say, first impression, fast, nice, and really, really good looking. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.